Okay. Okay. Winner of week three on the block 2020 and taking home $10,000 from Ford is by half a oh. point. Yes! It's Harry Tosh! I just wanted to give you another update. Things have changed since we last spoke. Australia has closed its borders. Ooh. Keith, Dan and myself have gone through this entire job and we've ordered all the materials that we need for everything, right to the end. So now, what I'd like you to do this week is to go through your entire house and work out how much chiprock you need, the flooring, the tiles, electrical, lighting, for the whole house. In the building game, this is called a takeoff and requires a list of every fixture and fitting for the rest of the entire build. That meant, you know, sheets, throwing channels. No, 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 no. You're talking about nails, plaster, uh, external angles, stuff you can't even comprehend. Okay. We know how serious this is. This thing is getting fair income. And the announcements that were made today could definitely change next week. So I know how hard it is being here on the block in this situation, and especially for the parents with young children. Mm. So I've come up with a bit of an idea that may keep us ahead of the game. And that is that we bring your children and your carers here with us. That's good. That's good for you guys. Fantastic. That's, That's great. That's so great. That's great. I've had to, yeah, I've had to make the decision of not attending not my attending grandmother's funeral. funeral. We were supposed to go to Sydney, but due to the world, and the coronavirus, um, we actually chose to stay in Melbourne. We had to take into consideration the fact that we're going to a funeral where there will be old people. Yeah. Um, and we don't want to be a risk to them, yeah. nor do we want them to be a risk to this side. Yeah. It was beautiful. <laughs> Uh-oh, sorry, Dan. It looks like you've been Keithed. Dan's going to fix the issue, but not before having a quiet word to Keith on his way out. Oh, bull That's what I'm saying, though. You only picked up in one house. No, I haven't. Only in two it? houses. Jeez. What? You picked it up in mine. Dan and Jimmy have the same waterproofer who installed that incorrect angle. So Dan's thinking House 5 might have the same issue. I'll do my job, mate. You do your job. Right, right. right stick to it. Now, Jimmy, yep. Daniel, the, the detective, has told me that uh, you've used trim here. Yeah, it is, definitely. We have to pull it up. All right, I'll call the waterproofer. Right. And I was like, oh, so how did that happen, Keith? I go, well, Daniel dobbed on you. How nice. I didn't think we were playing schoolyard dibba dobba sort of stuff. Did you dobba him? No. No. You'd never do that. Nope. Say it. I'm not a dobber. Nope. You're not going to say that? Dan! <laughs> Why'd you go running to Keith? I've got to rip my trim up now. What do you mean running to Keith? It's a dog's act, man. That's just a dog's what? act. House yeah, number three. Yeah, nice. Good to have neighbourly love. Hey. Don't worry, don't worry. They can try slow us down. 
I'll try. I just put more fire in my belly. What's he saying? More fire in my belly. Keith, you, he's, Keith oh. said you went to him and said we use exactly the same, so now we have to rip ours up. <laughs> Righto. Are you sure it's not the same waterproofer? Because that's how I got done, because I said the waterproofer gave me the idea to do it. Oh, well, Keith came in and said you went to him and said that we've oh, used right the on. same thing. Yeah, righto, mate. Yeah. If you think that, mate. Well, that's what we've yeah. been told, mate. Yeah, yeah, you get told it, mate. Get told it. Oh, he said he didn't say anything to Keith. So Keith's making stuff up again.